Aim is king in Counter-Strike. You can learn everything about strategy, roles, and nades, but in the end, it doesn't matter if you lack the mechanics to capitalize on the situation. Players will spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours practicing their aim and movement, and yet, not everyone progresses equally. This is because we tend to fall into the same practice routines as everyone else, despite our playstyles and setups being wildly different. Today, we'll be discussing the factors that causes differing aiming styles and how you can practice more efficiently knowing how you aim. There are three main factors that influence aim styles, which is your physical setup, your in-game settings, and your playstyle. Let's start with your physical setup. If you ever delved into the topic of computer posture at all, which I highly recommend you do if you don't want unnecessary back pain or eye strain later in life, you will know that the optimal sitting arrangement is to have your back straight, monitor arm lengths away, feet planted into the ground, with your arms at your side bent 90 degrees. While this is all good and I implore you to at least try these steps, the last tip for arms is a bit troublesome for esports players. While tucking your arms is optimal for typists, as soon as you introduce a mouse, things get really tight. Unless you are playing on walk 6 sense, you are not going to have enough room to move your mouse without banging your hand on your keyboard every time you flick left. So this is why players will flare out their arms and give themselves more space to move their mouse, but it is this deviation that introduces a lot of variation in aiming style. Depending on how aggressively you extend your arms will determine whether you use more of your shoulders or biceps in aiming. If you stick strictly to having your arms at your side as recommended, you will use more of your shoulders rotation to pivot your forearm, such as in the case of a liege. But if you move your arm out, you will be using more of your biceps to extend your elbow, such as the extreme example of Valorant Pro Saya player. Most players fall in the middle having a combination of both shoulder rotation and bicep flexion to make large swipes, which has their advantages and disadvantages. Using more shoulder movement will give you more freedom to move vertically and horizontally as the shoulder is a ball and socket joint, which favors aggressive players who need the movement to look around quickly, while using more bicep movement will be much more consistent as there is only one axis of movement as it is a hinge joint, which benefits players with much calmer aiming styles. Neither movement is inherently better than the other. There are great aimers who mostly use their shoulders, and there are great aimers who mostly use their biceps, but that's only about a third of your physical movement. You also have to account for your wrist and fingers. This is where mouse grip becomes especially pronounced, where there are three main styles. The first is palm grip, where you are going to be making as much contact with the mouse as possible with your palm and fingers. Palm grip gives you incredibly stable aim, but at the cost of being unable to use your fingers to make small micro adjustments. Claw grip reduces the amount of contact with the fingers in favor of a little bit of finger movement without much drawback and stability. Fingertip grip separates the mouse from the palm, which gives you incredible control over your mouse, with some drawback and stability. In most games where you have to aim both vertically and horizontally, the optimal mouse grip is fingertip because the amount of control you gain over your mouse will beat out almost any stability lost. However, since most flicks in Counter-Strike are completely horizontal and the average sensitivity is so low, having the stability in claw and palm grip is generally favored. Speaking of sensitivity, let's move on to in-game settings, which for the purposes of aim style, mostly boils down to how high or low your sensitivity is. Now, I have to define what classifies as high or low sense because compared to every other game, almost all Counter-Strike players' sense is low, extremely low even. But for the sake of this video, we're going to say anything lower than the median sensitivity of 830 that pros use is considered low, while anything above that is considered high. For most games, High sense is theoretically better because of the faster flicks and ease of doing difficult movement techniques. But for Counter-Strike, which heavily favors precise aim rather than general target acquisition, lower sensitivity is favored amongst pros since it allows for more leniency when you flick onto a target, and generally movement doesn't require a lot of consistent turning. However, this does not mean that high sense has no place in Counter-Strike. In a game where the time to kill is instantaneous, each millisecond matters, and having just a slightly faster flick speed truly does make a difference. The question is the same for sensitivity as it is for mouse grips. 
Do you want more stable, consistent aim, or do you want faster aim? Not only that, you have to consider what role you often play in game. If you play Entry Fragger or Lurker, a higher sense will allow you to clear more angles faster and help you kill CTs who catch you unaware. If you are a support player or a passive AWPer, having that consistent aim will help you win more trades and get easier frags, as you generally don't have to flick as far for each target. If you have a more fluid role, or are a solo queue player that needs to play any role, higher sensitivities are preferable as they are more versatile. Consider what you do in game, and figure out if your sensitivity is meeting the requirements of your role. And that depends a lot on your playstyle. Are you a player who relies more on your crosshair placement and game sets to get kills, or do you prefer to go in guns blazing and rely more on your instincts? That determines a lot of your aim-based needs, as players who tend to rely on crosshair placement will more likely prefer lower sensitivities and less arm movement for consistent aim, while aggressive aim-based players will like higher sensitivities and more freedom for arm movement. This is why it is mostly nonsensical for everyone to warm up with aimbots, then deathmatch, and then go into a game, when realistically, your playstyle necessitates certain skills while minimizing others. A player who relies on game sense doesn't need to practice his raw aim as much as a player who solely relies on their aim and would benefit more from just grinding out ranked matches to develop their crosshair placement. But if you want to work on your weak points, an aim-based player with significantly lower sensitivity might find it more effective to practice free-for-all death matches to help develop their large flicks, the same way a high-sensitivity aim player might want to play more 1v1 servers to help with their micro-adjustments. But that begs the question. Should you switch any of your current settings or physical setup to optimize your aim style? Long story short, I wouldn't recommend changing your sensitivity or your play style, but I would recommend experimenting with the physical aspects. I know most of you are looking like Quasimodo in your chair right now, so just getting proper posture is already a game changer in your day-to-day -day health. But if you are already trying to change your back posture for the better, you might as well change your arm posture while you are at it. As long as you focus on improving your weak points, and have at least some use for your choice of each of these factors, you can make just about any setup work. But if you really want to squeeze out every last drop of performance, then a little bit of experimentation never hurts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.